Shalom, everyone. It's your girl, Sister Zion. Hope y'all having a great and blessed day. I got another video for y'all before I get on the road. I've been off, feeling rejuvenated, ready to get back on the road. So check this out. <sighs> Boy, y'all know I, y'all know, y'all know. For those who know me for years, y'all know I have shit to say about that R. Kelly bullshit. And I'm going to call this video Dedicated Ignorance. Dedicated motherfucking ignorance. Because... <sighs> This shit just really just don't sit well in my soul. And this just really just have me giving a lot of y'all people, people who I know personally, you know, people who I know go to fucking church. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got so much to say about me, the way I'm living my life now. But even people who go to church, it's some of the shit y'all saying to defend R. Kelly. Fuck R. Kelly. Fuck him. Fuck him, his music, and anybody that support that shit. Bro, that's n Look, check out this video. From uh, the Boondocks. That's one of my favorite cartoons back in the day. I wish they would have continued to um, make Boondocks movies. I mean, um, episodes, cartoons, or whatever, but they didn't. But check out this episode for Boondocks, and I'm going to give you my commentary on it, all right? Sean, come back. One of the jury, all that needs to be said is this. on fallacious charges but r kelly is not one of those men we all know the nigga can sing but what happened to standards what happened to bare minimums you a fan of r kelly you want to help r kelly then get some counseling for r kelly introduce him to some older women hide his camcorder but don't pretend like the man is a hero and stop the damn dancing act like you got some goddamn sense people Damn, don't play around here. Boo! Hey, you with the afro. Give it a rest. Beat it. Put the music back on. You stressing me. <laughs> oh, I did battle with ignorance today, and ignorance won. All right, no, y'all just seen that video. That's one of the funniest scenes. Was that that whole episode was funny? I suggest y'all to go check check it out. It's the Boondocks. Um, I want to say is that the first season, first season, the second season. I can't remember, but it was called the R. Kelly Trial. So check it out on YouTube. They should have have it on there or whatever. But um, or Netflix. I think Netflix still play Boondocks. But um, look, you see how like I swear like. I, I often tell people this is the reason why I believe like white people and other people of other um races don't really take black people on um, serious because I really think they think we're like ignorant and dumb like we just a bunch of people who just like to smile and dance you know what I'm saying I really think they think we fucking stupid because like even though the cartoon was just making fun of the joke the cartoons is, like expose so much truth behind how some of y'all are thinking about this r kelly shit you know what i'm saying like so what the man made good music but he pissed in the little girl's mouth who was underage and he paid her for it and he paid her family so they wouldn't shut up now those people are the scum of the earth i don't have respect for them either if that was one of my family member i'd be ready to fight that's just how it is but um it showed that even though all the facts showing that this man is guilty, he's nasty, he perverted, he needs to be locked up, he needs to get some help. He does not need to be around children. He needs to be a registered sex offender so he won't have access to other people's children who's not doing a good job protecting their children. That he does not need to be around normal functioning society people who don't want to have sex with children. Regardless if these girls are not saying that um he raped them or not, the law says it's rape because they're not old enough to make a decision to consent to sex. Their mind is not developed enough to say, hey, I want to have sex with you. They, it's just not, that's what the law says. Just because someone, he's not putting guns to these girls' head and raping them doesn't mean it's right. I'm telling you, some of the shit y'all think, ugh, like y'all disgust me. I'm deleting a lot of y'all motherfuckers off my shit because I don't need that type of energy in my life 
on my that I want to see because y'all birds of a feather flock together. That's some nasty shit. If you defended R. Kelly, you need to pray and ask God what's going on. Ask Most High what the hell is inside you because something wrong with that. But on uh, the deck, the um back to subject, the deck, <laughs> I can't even talk. The dedicated ignorance behind that was. People keep saying, oh, y'all not, y'all have, y'all been knew R. Kelly was doing this. Oh, y'all just exposing it. It's the white man trying to bring us down and trying to make a black man look bad. Ain't nobody trying to make him look bad. He is bad. He made himself look bad when he decided to piss on a little girl. He made himself look bad when he decided to brainwash underage girls and starve them and make them call him daddy and crawled in them. And, you know, he he did that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no white man put no guns to the head. Only thing the white man did is let him get a taste of um wealth, of riches, and show him that money is power. That's the only thing the white man allowed this man to do. But he didn't tell him to do all that nasty bullshit. And how people keep saying, like, I hate. One thing I cannot hate me. I hate. When you have an intelligent conversation with someone and they do nothing but deflect, the deflect, the deflect. We are talking about R. Kelly. We are not talking about nobody else right now. They're not talking about Elvis and um, who else? The Hugh Hefners and all them white motherfucking people who did the same shit just probably ain't get caught for it or maybe they, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm saying, I'm sure they did nasty shit too and they just scum the earth and I wish somebody would have caught their ass and threw them under the the on um, jail but you know money rich people don't go to jail everybody know that bill cosmo just fucked up he was raping white women you can't touch them people white women white folks i keep telling you white folks defend they own you ain't gonna get away you black and you fucking these white women now yeah, you think okay let r kelly would have touched a white bitch mm -hmm. but deflecting i hate when i hear y'all say that oh oh they talking about r kelly but what about this what about that person what about this? okay well if you got so much to say if you so disgusted about what elvis and um hugh health and all the other white people other people other cultures who did shit did speak out you have a platform the, um, why don't you start something called mute elvis you know what i'm saying like saying that other people did the same shit that r kelly does not mean it's okay and that we should turn a blind eye to it that's not what that means so i hope some of y'all stop with that dedicated ignorance or i hope some of y'all just do your girl a favor and delete me off your please unfriend me please unfriend me because if you come for me on my platform like some of y'all did or inbox me i'm gonna say my pee i'm gonna say what i have to say you know and i might hurt your feelings because some of y'all look like a little chester molesters you know what i'm saying i mean you know the ones with the gold teeth but their beards ain't really connecting all the way you know them the ones you know the ones that walk around with the ashy you know face they face like they look like they yeah y'all know the stereotype look like mm, it's like something with the gold teeth i don't know something with now, I'm not saying every man on here with gold teeth or chest molesters. I'm just saying majority. Like every time you see pictures of these chest molesters, the black people, they have these funny looking gold teeth, um, beard shit. They beard is weird. <laughs> like <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly, like the beard is weird. Like that's what it's. But anyway, okay, show on. Let me get off here because I'm trying not to let these videos be too long. But um, yeah, mute R. Kelly. I stand behind that shit. Fuck him. Fuck his music. I can't support him. The last time I think I expressed to somebody how I really felt about R. Kelly years ago is one time I was expressing love with somebody in the bedroom and uh we was listening, putting a little music on, and I I'm uh, R. Kelly song came on and um I I stopped in the middle of what I was doing and it was good. Like we could have really been doing some stuff. It was really good, but I stopped because I couldn't. See, that shit just ain't sit well with my spirit. And I just change the song i just like hit to the next song and they asked me why i did it i was like man i don't want to listen to that sick motherfucker while i'm making love to you i don't want to hear it. i don't want that nigga nasty and i remember i used to just always say that i've been saying this shit for years but fuck our carely fuck his supporters but y'all have a great day shalom it's your girl sister zion thanks for supporting the video and don't forget to share